So what is the most impactful form of communication? That's what we're going to answer here today. Welcome to the Real Estate Game Plan Podcast, where we bring you inspiration, actionable steps, and knowledge to build your game plan to take your real estate business to the next level. My name is Demo. And I'm Derek, and we are licensed real estate brokers and your hosts for this podcast. Let's get started. So when it comes to making the most impact, is that going to be a postcard that is going to go out to the mail, to the masses? Is it going to be maybe an Instagram or a Facebook post? Is it going to be a TikTok? A TikTok. Is it going to be that one on one? What is actually going to be the best thing for me as a real estate agent? Yeah. So great questions. And as real estate agents, you really have so many marketing channels at your disposal, right? Um, Social media, print media, handshakes, door knocking, phone calls, all of these things. Um, A lot of times it can can be overwhelming and, and sometimes it causes agents to do to do none of it, right? Because we have analysis of uh, paralysis analysis, right? So really, if you think about it and you go to experts like Michael Mayer, who wrote a book called Seven Levels of Communication, what he talks about is a pyramid of, of communication and the impact goes up towards the top of the pyramid, which there's only one thing at the top of that pyramid. So we'll save that. But at the bottom of the pyramid, he talks about uh, digital communication, print media, those types of things, right? So advertisements, getting your name out there. um, That's not really what he calls the most impactful. And so when you when you inch your way up there, you have to always think about what is the goal through all of those things. We could spend a lot of money and a lot of time, uh, you know, doing a lot of things. But what is it? What is the goal? Where do you want to get to? Um, Derek, do you want to reveal the uh, top of the pyramid? Absolutely. It's going to be that one-on-one. And I feel like you need all of it, and we're probably going to do all of it. But I think in the grand scheme of things, just keeping in mind that that one-on-one, that is going to make the most impact. And that's really what the goal is. Yep. Yep. Having that one-on-one meeting. And so what Michael Mayer says is, uh, you know, schedule that time uh, through phone calls, through communication, but ultimately get to that face-to-face with that person. And, uh, you know, some people may say this sounds old school, but but really when you think about it, uh, you know, most big business and homes are big business, right? As far as dollar volume goes, uh, most of that takes place in person. Um, Zoom world has has taken over and, you know, digital communication is definitely here and here to stay in a big way. But if we can get that one-on-one communication, um, you know, a lot less is lost in body language and tone and things like that that are a little bit more difficult when you bring in those electronic forms of communication. So, uh, what he says, and it's a tried and true practice, is getting that one-on-one meeting, uh, meeting somewhere, you know, Starbucks, um, you know, a, a, a meeting center, anywhere that is, um, to be able to have that person and you feel comfortable and uh, just discussing whatever the topic is. You know, what are they looking to do in real estate? What are you looking to do? But really, ultimately, also what he says in the book is um, thinking about how you can help that person. Right. And so if we always come from a helpful standpoint, uh, a place of, um, you know, service and, and help, uh, then I think that really does keep it in perspective. And it also makes it easier to not think of, oh, I got to come in with these slick lines and re- repeat all these scripts and make this thing happen. It's a it's a conversation between two people um, and probably someone that you already know and maybe that already knows, likes and trusts you, um, which ultimately, you know, is, is the ultimate uh, way to get there. But if you if they don't already know that about you then that's what this one-on-one can bring. Right, absolutely. And I think a good way to look at these other forms of communication is a gateway to the one-on-one meeting. And I've heard many stories from real estate agents who will do simple things, demo, like the, they will wear their name tag, their name badge, to the local grocery store or just around when they're doing their errands in their life. And we'll have so many people come up to them and ask questions about that. Mm-hmm. What are you which what what industry are you in and mm-hmm. it just opens up the you know it opens up the door for them to have a conversation with them about real estate mm-hmm. and they remember that one on one 
conversation that they had. Yeah, that brings up a great point, Derek, is is for agents to always have something to say, right? Um, inevitably, someone's going to bring up a question at a barbecue or at the grocery store and say, how's the market or what's happening in this neighborhood or this area? Or did you hear about that development? So really being plugged in as an agent to the area you're focused on, um, but also making sure you have something to say, know the stats, know what's happening in the mortgage uh, rate side of things, know what's happening in uh, days on market and average sales price. And so uh, having that that, that thing to say is always going to help answer that question. Um, you know, and, and also when you do get that one-on-one -on -one meeting, uh, something that Michael Mayer says is, uh, the question to be able to ask that person, which, um, I love it because I think it's very approachable and easy to understand as an agent that you don't have to bring in and say, are you looking to buy or sell today? You know, which is, which is kind of what's taught from, way back when, and it's, you know, a little bit more old school, what he talks about again is, is the way to help. So, you know, how can I help you in your, in your life, in your business, that type of question. But then when it comes back to you, um, you know, being able to ask for the real estate business from that person, he says, you know, you could easily put it like this. Um, if you had a friend or family member who was looking to buy or sell real estate, who would you recommend them to? And so I think that's a really easy question because you're not asking them for business. Um, you're not inserting yourself in there. You're simply asking them a question of who they would recommend a friend, a friend or family member to. And, you know, hopefully they're going to give you an accurate or an honest answer. Um, and so if it's someone else, um, you know, great. And if you've heard of that person and know some good things about it, you know, compliment that. Um, but if you, uh, you know, also want to take that a step further, if they do recommend someone is just to ask them, uh, what would it take for me to be that person that you would recommend? And so just have that conversation, very easy follow-up question. Obviously, if they say, I don't know an agent, <laughs> then there's your time to talk a little bit more about you. I would love to be that person. Let me tell you why. Here are the things that I bring to the table. And so, uh, you know, as an agent, don't overwhelm yourself. It's an easy conversation. People can smell, uh, you know, the, the commission breath. <laughs> and so they can smell, smell that they can hear that they can feel that, that salesy type. And so, um, you know, we, we, uh, definitely recommend more of the service and helpful side, educate your clients, um, you know, and, and, and go that route. Absolutely. Well, you said a lot of great points with that, but being helpful is so, so important mm -hmm. and not feeling like you have to have the answer to everything. I think, especially if you are a new agent, you feel like you need to know everything mm -hmm. and it's okay to get back with people. And maybe they do ask how the market is. Mm -hmm. We know that every market's different. Every zip code is different. And so maybe that's an opportunity to get more information from them, ask them where they live and get back with them and they will respect you. Exactly. That. Yeah, that's a great point. You know, I'd love to send you a market report. Um, you know, your email address is still this, or can I have your email address to send that to? So um, always some great things and great ways to stay in touch with, uh, you know, your database and or build your database. But ultimately, you know, today in this topic, we're talking about getting to that one on one meeting, because ultimately, that's where the most impact that's where the highest return on investment for you for your time, and where you can really make uh, a splash with that person. And so uh, today, we wanted to share that with you. Right. And don't be afraid to ask for business from businesses that you already do business with. Mm -hmm. You know, that is a great opportunity to ask for their business and let them know, talking about not being a secret agent, let them know that you are in the real estate industry and maybe they're not ready right now, but maybe in the future they will be. So you're just kind of opening up that opportunity for later. That's that's a great point, Derek. And, and another uh, another podcast we're going to have is going to be talking about extending the life of your, you know, real estate career, because uh, it is not a two week, six months, one year, you know, commitment for most, uh, most agents who get into the business, they want to look at this as a long term thing. So things like that, building your pipeline, making sure that you're making those connections for the long term. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth uh, on another session. But um, thanks for watching today. Thanks, Derek. And uh, we'll see you next time. You've been listening to the Real Estate Game Plan Podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube and leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you for listening.